Hey everyone, and welcome to Time Travelling Team, a weekly Doctor Who review podcast. I'm Paddy. And I'm Trisha. Each week we'll review a Doctor Who story, looking back at the Doctor, the companions, the villains, and what we think of the story as a whole. Now we say story and not episode, because each story in Classic Who is told across multiple episodes. That's right, we are including Classic Who. We will be starting at the very beginning with the unaired pilot from 1963, and we'll work our way through the life of the Doctor. Paddy and I have been fans of Classic Who since we were in college, though Paddy has seen a bit of it growing up, whereas I didn't. And we want to share how awesome it is for those of you who've maybe been a bit hesitant to give it a go. Now, Classic Who wasn't always wobbly sets and cheap effects. Well, maybe it was, but that adds to the charm of the series and some of these amazing stories. Now, sadly, the broadcast recordings for some of the classic stories have been lost to time. However, thanks to the available audio recordings and the work of countless Whovians throughout the world, we're able to review these lost stories as well. So, Paddy, what are you looking forward to the most on this little adventure we are going to be embarking on? I think the thing that I'm looking forward to the most is actually getting you to watch uh, Doctor Who that you've never seen before. Because like, I managed to watch it all or listen to it all. And being able to discuss it with someone and then showing it to the rest of the world is something that I've always wanted to do and kind of show that classic who is some of the best science fiction uh, and some of the, the just the best television stories around that you can actually see uh, amazing characters fantastic villains and it's just a whole world that I'd love to introduce to people How about you Trish what are you looking forward to yeah I think watching the episodes I haven't seen before I have watched a lot of classic who but I haven't watched all of it and there's no particular reason for that. It's just I had characters I liked and when they weren't in it anymore, I didn't really have the impetus to watch the rest of that Doctor or whatever the case may be. So for me, watching it all is going to be interesting. And I'll finally know what some of the things you refer to on an ongoing basis are, which I only know in passing at the moment. Beyond that, I think giving a fresh look at some of these classic stories is going to be really fun. And I'm looking forward to the moments where maybe you and I don't agree, um, because those are sometimes some of our more interesting conversations yes. when we're each debating our side. But yeah, I think going back and watching all of these episodes again is going to be really fun. Now, if you would like to hear more about upcoming episodes or join in the discussion with us, you can follow us on Facebook, Twitter and Instagram at Time Teamp. That's T-I-M-E-T-E-A-M-P. Or you can email us at timetravellingteam at teamproductions.com.